Now to a story perfect for this Mother's Day weekend. A grandmother in Wisconsin has a roof over her head thanks to her 12-year-old grandson. When he heard his grandmother was about to be evicted, he set up a website and raised more than $10,000 to save her home. And Steve Hartman has the story. Janice Sparhawk can't say enough about her 12-year-old grandson, Noah LeMaid. He is the light of my life. I love that little guy. <laughs> but this isn't about a doting grandma. This story is about a doting grandson. Just wonder where would you be without him? I don't know. I don't know. Janice lives in Stevens Point, Wisconsin. Noah is her only biological grandchild, but there are many other kids in town who she considers like grandchildren. As a foster parent, she's taken in about 100 such kids over the years. Yeah, she gets kids sometimes, yeah. In the middle of the night, that get dropped off there. Unfortunately, even that kind of giving doesn't mean beans to a bank. And there are no foster homes for foster parents. Last year, Janice's house went into foreclosure. She was keeping it secret. Yes. She, I don't think she wanted me to be upset. Didn't work, did it? Mm -hmm. Why did it get to you so much? Because she helps a lot of people, like foster children, and it would be more than me that just suffered. Noah wanted to do something, but with just about 100 bucks to his name, there wasn't much he could do. All he really had was an internet connection. And so he made a web page, just asking for the $10,000 his grandma needed to catch up on her payments. And to make a long story wonderful, we're just basically canceling the foreclosure. Noah showed up at his grandma's bank with a boatload of checks. It just restored my faith in my family, my friends, community, the whole, whole thing. I learned that there's a lot more good people in the world than I expected. Normally when people think the U.S., they think of a lot of greed, but really that's not what it is, obviously. Noah LeMaid, what America really is. Steve Hartman for CBS This Morning, Saturday. And we're absolutely delighted to have Janice Sparehawk and Noah LeMaid joining us this morning. And good morning to both of you. Incredible story. Morning. Morning. Janice, how did it feel when you found out your grandson was doing this? It just felt, I, I was a little bit nervous about him doing it because I didn't want him to be disappointed. But he did it, and I was just so happy with him. Noah, how did you get this idea? Um, uh, when I found out, I, that she was crying with my mom in the living room, and I kind of didn't let them know that I heard, because I was in my room, and I, w I had a website previously before this, mm -hmm. and after I heard this was happening, I, um, got the idea, what if I use my website to help my grandma instead of just helping other people? I, because I help other people with this, why couldn't I help my grandma? Janice, you seem to be very surprised by just how many people ended up wanting to help you. I was very surprised. I didn't realize how many wonderful people there are out there in the world. There are a lot of them. What message do you think, um, both to you and to J uh, Noah, that got people's heartstrings and really got them to participate in this, Noah? Um, I'm 12. I'm <laughs> young. I'm young. It, I guess it kind of surprised people that I was thinking of, some, thinking of something like this already. Um, I think it was just that I was trying to help my grandma mm -hmm. and that I've already helped other people too and that she takes foster kids. What an extraordinary act of kindness, and not, not your act of kindness, but also as you just mentioned, the fostering that you've done as well. Um, how's the home now? You're there. I'm there, yes. I still have a mortgage and it's it's a little hard, but I'm able to keep up now. I was sick before, and I, that's why I got so far behind. And my biggest message in this to everyone, if you're behind, talk to someone. Don't try and do it alone if you can't. Talk to your 12-year-old grandson. No. <laughs> <laughs> it is a great message to end on. And Noah, congratulations to you. It's a testament to who you are as a person, but also the power of an individual in making lives better. Thank you. What a wonderful family. First trip to New York City. Enjoy it, guys.